Now, our fourth offer tonight is a beautiful chance to uh, visit Scandinavia with Princess Cruises. And if you book tonight, you can have a massive onboard spend of up to $375. But let's talk about uh, Princess, because this is the Caribbean Princess, isn't it? Absolutely. And this is a large cruise liner that journeys at a nice leisurely pa pace. Um, and she is one of the larger ships, actually, within the fleet. She carries uh, a maximum capacity of 3,100 uh, passengers and she came into service in 2004. And, you know, you know you're going to get great quality from a Princess Cruise. Uh, Eating-wise, you've got so many different dining experiences. You've got Sabatini's, the Sterling Steakhouse, Ultimate Balcony Dining, etc. And then you've got your casual stuff as well, your pizzerias and your hamburgers and all that. Broadway style theatre productions that, you know, the entertainment really is second to none. You've got your casino, your nightclub, Churchill Lounge. So whatever it is that you like to do, there will be a place for you and, to go and do it. And I know princesses have such a great reputation in the industry, don't they? They do. They really, really do. So you're going to have a wonderful time on with, this With ship. actually a very loyal following, actually. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. People really rebook if they've been on a princess cruise. They love it. Now, if you don't like long flights, or maybe... Any flights, you don't need to fly on this one because straight from Southampton, that is nice and easy. You know, it's just so hassle free. And uh, our first day, oh, we're in Bruges, aren't we? Yes, well, actually, no, we're going to, uh, well, we're going to Brussels so you can. Uh, you Yes, we're going to Bruges. Beg your pardon, getting all confused there. Mind you, we do do a lot of deals, don't we? Yeah, so we arrive in Bruges, which is absolutely stunning, and you've got lots of places to go and visit, such as the cathedral. You've got Flanders Fields you can go and have a look at, or you could do a little uh, canal trip as well. Uh, through Bruges and take your camera and photograph all the picturesque, uh, beautiful buildings I, I, as you go along. I've only been to Bruges once. Again, it was on a cruise, but I love the experience. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, it really so is a, a, a wonderful place. It's a place that, you know, people don't automatically, uh, often people go to Amsterdam or they go to Paris, and actually it's so worth a visit. Amazing markets. Um, the people are always really friendly. It's great. And then... We've got a day sailing and then day four we arrive in Copenhagen. And what's quite nice is you've got an overnight on board as well. I've, so never, been got, to, I've never been here. Have you not? No. I think you'd absolutely love it. On the east coast of Denmark, of course, and it's been the capital for 600 years. It's a really big Scandinavian city and it's home to the world's oldest monarchy and its present queen still lives in a palace there. But, you know, it's a country that's really rich in sort of Viking history. So you've got these big, there are so many castles. I mean, I could list them, but you definitely should visit one or two of them. Beautiful countryside around it as well. And it's got that kind of slight fairy tale feeling because there's so many 17th and 18th century buildings. Beautiful parks as well, lots of green spaces. Uh, you saw the statue, of course, of um, the Little Mermaid, because this is the birthplace of Hans Christian Andersen as well. But getting your bearings around Copenhagen is quite easy. You've got some really big sort of landmarks like the Town Hall Square and the Nora Port Station, so it's fairly easy to find your way around. Um, and like I say as well, the, uh, you've got all the castles to visit, but the Tivoli Gardens, if the weather's nice as well, is really worth a visit, absolutely fantastic. It's worth mentioning as well, this date is over half term as well. If you, I was wondering that. Yeah, yeah. it is definitely. I haven't checked because I know Scotland is different sometimes. So it might not be the Scottish one, but I know that it is um, in England and Wales. Yeah, I thought yes. that actually. So then we're off um, to another Scandinavian city. We're off to Sweden, to Helsingborg. And as soon as you get to the cruise terminal, you'll see the Karnan Castle. And you can walk, there it is. You, thank you. <laughs> you can walk from the dock through a lovely square up to the castle. And you can actually climb it if you want to get a really great view of the city. And you can see on a clear day, you can actually see through to Copenhagen, uh, believe it or not. And then you've got a main square as well with this big sort of arch gothic architecture. Again, lots of pedestrian-only uh, streets. And you can do a little ferry ride there if you want to as well. And then we're over to Oslo, Then we're over to we? Oslo, yes, which is a really kind of, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it, like a cosy city. Uh, fewer tourists come here than, say, maybe Copenhagen. But there is just as much to do. You've got um, 
on the Acre River at the head of the Oslo Fjord, you've got loads of things, lakes, parks, museums, uh, modern architecture, statues. It's really beautiful, actually. Least densely populated capital city in Europe, so plenty of space. And they're really proud of their nature and their forests and their fjords. So despite the fact you're in this big city, it is surrounded by lovely scenery as well. Now, a final day at sea to enjoy that beautiful ship across the Caribbean Princess and then back to Southampton. And uh, so Princess have got a great deal on this one today. The, the price is 7 dollars We can offer you a very low deposit and you'll get free up to $375 on board. The saving today, by the way, tonight is £180 off the brochure price. It's good, isn't it's it? It's very good. Yeah, really it's interesting, is. that one as well. The Scandinavian, all those countries. Yeah. You do all of them in one trip. It's rather well, lovely. Yeah. There's a lot of places I've not been to, though. Yeah, absolutely. So a really good opportunity to see some interesting places on a beautiful ship. Oh, and if you've never booked a cruise, um, you know, maybe, maybe tonight is going to be your first cruise. Hopefully, we're giving you a real taster uh, of the standards of luxury and, of course, the value that you do get with cruise holidays. Um, a little advice, if, you've ever, if you're ever booking a cruise with us from Southampton, we have a very, very special relationship and partnership with the Meehan Valley Marriott in Southampton. So from uh, £70 per person per night, we will include parking and port transfers for all of our customers. Up to, as I mentioned, a lot of on-board spend. That's $375 per stateroom. Overnight, don't forget on board in Copenhagen, and you are saving tonight £180 off the brochure price there as well.